We are now at a point in our PowerPoint that we can practice doing a problem on centripetal, centripetal acceleration. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about some of the equations that they asked us to use. The first one is on centripetal acceleration. That's what that means, acceleration due to, and it's a C down here for centripetal. So this is centripetal acceleration is equal to the velocity squared, that's a V, over the radius of the circle. So V is going to be velocity. Another word for velocity is speed. And the R is for the radius. Another way to write that, when you manipulate it a little bit and, and um, do some algebra on it uh, using different variables, we also get an equation that says the centripetal acceleration is due to 4 times pi squared times the radius divided by the time squared. So this t is the time. Normally time is in seconds, radius is in meters, and this is in meters per second. So let's continue on with that using that information. On page 162 of your textbook, number 12, they talk about a runner moving at a speed of 8.8 .8 meters per second. So his velocity is 8.8 .8 meters per second. And it runs a bend with a radius of 25 meters. The radius is 25 meters. So this is what I know. These are my known. The question is, what is the centripetal acceleration of the runner? Well, I'm going to decide. Since I have, I know the velocity and I know the radius, I can find the centripetal acceleration. So centripetal acceleration is equal to 8.8 .8 squared over 25. I math it. I take 8.8 .8 squared divided by 25 and I'm going to get 3.1 meters per second squared is my acceleration. The second part is what agent exerts a centripetal force on the runner? Well let's think about a runner. What are the forces uh, that are interacting with them or that particular runner? In essence it is the foot against the track. It's almost like third law because you're pushing off on it. That's that force that's pushing your head and making you go forward. So the foot against the track is going to be your force that's exerting you around the track. I hope this helps you in, with, in doing the other questions.